a shot, the ball is here, and it gets away, we can run a leg by. If I'm not playing a shot, I cannot run a leg by unless evading the ball. If I'm taking a for? Huh? Unless it's being appealed for? No, no. Taking if I'm taking evasive action. So check it out. If the ball hits your leg, right. right, and you're not offering a shot, mm -hmm. opposing team appeals, can you take a run off that? Yeah. Oh, oh. I mean, uh, oh, wait, were you not playing shots? No. No, it's a dead ball there. Yeah. Now, if, again, to pick on this man again, he just bowled a bouncer to me and I'm ducking like hell out of the way. I'm not trying to play a shot at all, but it deflects off my helmet and goes away for six. Right? It's a six. It's a six, six leg bite. Yeah. Right? Even though I've never seen one of those. Yeah, shit. <laughs> okay? Runners, if you're injured, I repeat, injured, not cramping, not tired, if you're injured after your name has been given to the umpire at the beginning of, this, of the game, you're allowed to have a runner. You, if you're cramping, you need to go off. If you are you twisted your ankle, I mean, you're not necessarily asking the umpire to be a physio, but if it's clear that you got injured, then you're allowed to have a runner. I literally had somebody in a game that I was officiating a couple years ago. They batted first. He was, he called for a runner, said he was hurt. I allowed him the runner, and then he opened the ball in when they came in the bat. So that's the kind of thing that we're getting rid of, okay? And I won't spend any more time on that. Cramps, you cannot have a runner, you have to retire and come back. Uh, if the field, the captain of the field inside wants to be nice, let's say you're playing RCC, it's a really mismatched game, and it's you know 20 uh, five overs to go, and you still need 130 to win, and he wants to have you come home. I forgot to plug my computer in. <laughs> wow. Uh, if the captain of the field inside wants to allow a runner, that's completely his choice, but. From your standpoint as an umpire, if you're just cramping, you do not get to get a runner. A batter is better than a hop because we've been plugged in almost two hours. Okay. One more thing, actually. Yeah. Catching. Because the batter hits the ball. Okay. The, the ball gets deflected with the batsman's helmet. And if the batman hits a ball, and the ball gets deflected by batsman's helmet. I got Rooster out cotton ball like that a couple of years ago, five years ago. He's playing pool. Lightning quick to speed. Were you over? Yeah, it was me. He tried, so you know it was a long time ago. He tried to pull top edge right off his helmet, right up in the air. That's a catch. If the ball lodges in part of your clothing, it's a dead ball. So the ball gets stuck in between the pad and the... Oh, what about here? We can keep us helmet. What? You realize that we have seven minutes to go and you're just sitting there dreaming up stuff that hasn't happened. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen it happen. By definition, if it happens, it's a dead ball, but it lodges. Okay. If it bounces off, then it's still a live ball, but if it lodges in there... No, not lodges. If it bounces... No, oh, then yes. Yes, it lodges. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think, I don't so. think that's all. That's so wearing a protective equipment, I mean, close to feeders wearing uh, protective equipment. If it bounces off that, it's a dead ball. But only close to feeders. Let me get, let me get clarification on that and I'll send it to everybody because uh, let me fly through that. I, I wasn't aware of that, but let me, I'll, I'll check with you and let you know. Uh, square leg. Hopefully I've hammered the square leg enough so y'all know you need to take it more seriously, right? No cell phones. No, just run out there for a few minutes and come back. After four deliveries, confirm with the square between the square leg and the and the um, and the standing yeah, umpire, right? He's a member of the umpiring team. He's not a member of the batting team at that point. So he's not coaching. He's not cheering. I've actually heard square leg umpire say yes. Oh, we're not doing any of that. Okay. Uh, count balls. Confirm after four. Count the number of fielders as we talked about earlier. Uh, verify that, and you can definitely see square leg umpires in this league do that. When the ball is hit to the outfield and just kind of their eyes just go follow the ball. They need to be looking to see whether or not the batsman is grounding his bat. Okay. Uh, we touched on this earlier. On a run out, make sure 
that the ball is dead before you take your eyes off of it. Right? Don't the ball keep passes by and let's say it's a pace ball. The ball gets by the keep by the batsman. In this league, a lot of keepers try, and I know you do this all the time, try to stump off of a pace bowler, which is a perfectly legitimate cricket play. So if the ball goes through all the way to the keeper, don't take your eye off the play at that point. Make sure that you see what happens. If it's dead, then it's dead. But after, make sure it's dead before, because a lot of times they're trying to, to uh, either affect the run out or something. Okay? Here, I'll tell you what, let's, in four minutes, we have a little bit of a test, and we're going to fly through this. How long before the beginning of the match? <laughs> <laughs>